this new metaphor online for chronic pain. So the most common one that we talk about is Spoonie, Spoon Theory, right? Chronic pain and chronic illness. But this other one I like because I always think of us as warriors, right? Chronic pain warrior, chronic illness warrior. It's how I like to view um, our experience. Uh, or my experience, I guess, specifically. And so this metaphor really resonated with me. So it's a knight in armor. So if you watched my previous video about anger being like armor, this is a little different take where chronic pain is like battle-worn armor. And I'm gonna link the article that I took this from below. So the first point is that armor is heavy and cumbersome, right? And that's kind of what chronic pain or chronic illness feels like. It really um, makes it hard to keep up with others and, you know, it can really slow our life down a bit. The second point they have is that armor is high maintenance. Oh, I think we can all agree that chronic pain, chronic illness, definitely high maintenance, right? We need to constantly be taking care of ourselves in many different ways, going to appointments, all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, taking medications, all of that. And so just like armor, which needs to be, you know, polished and oiled, uh, chronic pain is chronic pain, chronic illness or high maintenance. Uh, the next point that they have is that armor makes a lot of noise, right? It creaks and, um, you know, it's uh, it's kind of clangy, it's loud, and um, it can kind of be like that. I guess their point is that while our, our illness or pain may not make actual noise, um, the symptoms can sometimes maybe feel like they're annoying to others or possibly be annoying to others. I don't like to mind read what other people think, but... Um, that's the point on that one. Their, their next point is that a knight never goes anywhere without his armor, right? So we can't just stop having chronic pain or stop having chronic illness. We might have times where it's less impactful on us, but that doesn't mean it's totally gone. So in the same way if a knight's going, you know, out of the castle or, or whatever, in fact, you know, doing their duty, they've got to wear their armor. Uh, next point is that armor is incredibly uncomfortable. I would imagine that it would be uncomfortable to wear a suit of armor. Um, and I think we can all agree that chronic pain and chronic illness tend to be quite uncomfortable. Next is that the visor on the helmet impairs the knight's vision, right? And so you can't see that far. Um, obviously, it's there to protect his eyes. <laughs> and uh, the way they describe this one is that it's very overwhelming to have chronic pain and chronic illness. And this is why I usually try to give a lot of coping skills on across my different platforms because it is overwhelming and um, it can make us hard for us to focus on uh, things, uh, other things, important things in our lives other than pain and illness and, and our symptoms. So definitely, I would say it's definitely like the visor. The next point is that it's hard for a knight to be heard through his helmet. I would imagine that is true as well. I can, having metal over your face, I, I think would be pretty hard. Um, and their point in this is that sometimes people don't listen to us very well, right? This, we get medically gaslit, for example, um, or even like friends and family may not understand and they may not be hearing exactly what we're saying. Um, the next point is that all people see is the armor and I think that, you know, that makes sense in the sense that, uh, yeah, people are going to only maybe start to, or some people might only see your illness or you might only see your illness and not all the other wonderful things that you are um, besides being someone with illness or pain. Next point is that a knight needs help taking off his armor, right? They can't actually take it off themselves. Usually all these like servants would come and remove it from them. And while we can't actually take off chronic pain and chronic illness, the point here is that we need a support system to help us manage it, help understand, you know, um, help maybe even physically help, right? Depending on what's going on for you. So, uh, you know, that's really talking about the support system. Next point is that being a knight is not always a choice, right? So back in the old days, you were sometimes just assigned jobs. This is what you're going to do. And obviously we didn't have a choice to have chronic pain or chronic illness because nobody would choose this. Next is that if a knight falls or is pushed over, it's difficult for them to get up again. And same thing, it's, this is about flares, right? So if we have a flare, then we might be impacted um, more severely for a certain amount of time. Next is that a knight endures pain, so he goes into battle anyway and tries, to, and for many of us, we spoke 
trying to live our lives the best we can, right? So if you're continuing to work, for example, then you're obviously kind of working through your pain um, or going to school or anything like that. And I obviously know that some people are on disability and don't work and, you know, but maybe there's other things in your life that you are still doing, hopefully, because that's really what makes life good is to find things that you can do. Next is that knights have a code of honor. So, um, you know, that, like the way they're supposed to act. And that's just about common understanding within the chronic illness and disability communities, right? So then that's, you know, going online, for example, looking at blogs and um, vlogs and you know, Instagram, Facebook groups and all that, just we have this common understanding, hopefully. Um, second last point is that a knight's life is very solitary, right? So they live in service of a king. Um, they often didn't have families. Um, if they did, they didn't get to see their family super often. And so it's very solitary and for some conditions it can really stop people from socializing um, participating in activities things that they really like to do um, be part of a community that's why i think online communities can be very uh, important uh, especially if you find ones that are working for you and uh yeah I, you know friendships can be a little bit harder for a lot of people with chronic pain and chronic illness and family relationships all relationships can be a little bit more difficult and then the very last point is that a knight never surrenders, right? They, he'd rather get killed in battle than, <laughs> than surrender to an enemy. And this is just saying that you are strong, right? You, the whole community are first. Everybody in this community is so strong. And that, you know, even when you feel like giving up, you're not. Most of you are not. And I think that's super important to remember that you know, sometimes we forget how strong we are because we think that pain is everything and nothing else matters and that's not really how it is. So that's the metaphor, knight in armor. I like it. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you took something out of that. And I think this was just uh, a post to help inspire you and remember that you, yes, it's difficult, but uh, you are strong and you can keep going up.